Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is video number two. We're going into day three on Power World. So if you were with us on the the first video, the first one hour into this game, you'll see we set up our base and we are completely fully set up. We've got our three Vixies that are grazing. We automated our stone and our wood production. We have everything that we need at the moment, but now we need to level up. So the biggest threat that we have at the moment is that we have a wooden base that is susceptible to fire damage. Meaning that in order to get a stone base, we need to upgrade to level 18. Level 18 is quite a long way away. There's a lot we need to do to get there. So what we're going to do now is focus on leveling up. In order to do that, we're going to need to take POWs. And in order to do that, we're really going to need to be able to move around the map. So initially what we're going to do is collect as many POWs as we can. We're going to want a normal parachute. That's going to really help us in the initial stages. For that, we're going to need some cloth. We also want to take the POWs that we have available to us. Um, so we'll be able to take those out. And we need some arrows and other things like that. So here we go. Let's grab some cloth uh, initially. Uh, we'll just make two lots of cloth. That's going to allow us to make a parachute. Uh, we've got our arrows. Uh, and now we just need to make our power spheres. Alright, so we're going to need some wood for this. Now, there's two ways we can acquire wood now. We can go out and hit a tree. Or we can simply come over here. Now, there's 11 wood here already. There's also some stone that we can acquire as well. And that is going to allow us to craft. So, we can go ahead and make our normal parachute. Everyone in the base is busy at the moment. Everyone is working. So that's good. All the jobs are being taken care of. Uh, we can make some more berries. We have quite a lot of these. So we can go ahead and do that. We're going to make the parachute and then we're going to get out. So the purpose of this second hour is to really get up to level 18. And be able to get up to level 18 is going to allow us to build a stone base. There is no point building out a huge wooden base and it burning down. So before we get too carried away building out any more of our base, we want to level up. We also need to think about what powers are going to make our base work better, what's going to be more efficient, how can we get around the map quicker, uh, and all of those good things, as well as thinking about boss fights uh, as well, uh, and other things like that. So at the moment we have 48 arrows, we absolutely will need some more, so we can go ahead and craft. Um, but we don't really have much wood at the moment, so we're quite limited. Also, we're going to make these as well, but again, we need some more wood to be able to do that. So before we head out, let's just go and uh, chop down a tree. Uh, there'll be a couple outside. We'll just hit these. And then as we're out, the wood production within the base will continue to tick over, meaning that when we come back, we'll have a supply of wood ready. Uh, the same thing will happen with stone. Now, if we do want to get some stone, it's very easy. We can just go and use our Rushmore to be able to go and uh, mine that quickly. Um, but for now, this is everything that we're going to need right here. So we can go ahead and make another seven of these. We've already got 16. So this is going to give us our initial uh, boost for powers to get our next level up. And the next thing we need to consider as well as we're leveling up our tech tree is how quickly we can get to the Mega Spheres at level 14. So all of the basic spheres to start with, uh, we'll be using the Power Sphere for. So we just want to be gathering as many Lambles, Catavers. We need 10 of each. Um, and, and just by doing that, we should be able to level up quite quickly. So we're going to go back to the starting area. Uh, it's going to be quite highly contested right now. So it's going to be quite hard uh, in terms of finding everything that we need. Uh, should be able to grab a bit more stone as well. Great. And then we can make just an extra two of these. All right. And then we're going to head out. And also, as you can see, there's loads of spheres now that the Vixies are making for us as well. So we'll go ahead and grab those. Uh, including some arrows as well. And this is why we wanted that ranch set up. All right. Another 12 spheres. So now we have 35 spheres as well as the arrows and the clubs and everything that we need. So we're good to go. So... Uh, we can move from within our base. We just fast travel. We're going to go ahead to the starting location. And we're just going to pick up everything that we missed on the first two runs. So lambles, um, catavers, and chickpeas. Anything like that. Also, we'll pick up some resources along the way. So any stone, any wood, anything like that. Because it always helps uh, towards building up the base. Um, we can also get some more 
uh, seeds because they're going to come in handy. Now, we don't want to waste arrows for no reason. So if we can hit things like the chickpeas, we are just going to use these. It's easy to do. And it saves us some resources. So we don't waste arrows. Okay. So another one here we can grab. Now the experience scales. So you'll see here we're getting 63 experience because of our current level. Um, but this does scale. So it doesn't matter what level you're um, fighting. Uh, we'll still be able to get that experience as we level up. Uh, relevant to the level that we're on. So the Lambos. Quite easy to kill. And also we're getting the wall, we're getting the lamb mutton, we're getting all of the other items as well from doing this. Now again, you might struggle, you might need to go a bit further out to do this. But the idea is just to get as many as we can, whilst obviously fighting the other players, because they're going to be doing the same thing. And while we can't PvP, we definitely need to be able to consider how we're going to, there we go, focus on levelling up. Now, cadavers are a little bit harder because they're going to run away from us, so we're going to have to use the arrows on these. Uh, we can try it. We might not get this one if we don't. There we go, 100% guarantee for those two now, nice. And that's where we're going to use the bow and arrow to use things like that that will run away from us. Just keep an eye on the health of our items. They seem to be okay at the moment, so we can jump down here. There is a uh, effigy over there. We can head towards that. Um, but before we do so, we're just going to grab these. Poor chickabees. They're not really uh, much use. But they do give us that, um, that experience that we need. Okay. So one more chickabee that we need. Some more Lambles here, we'll grab these, and then some more Cadavers over there, we'll grab those. Again, we've still got 23 Spheres on us. Again, we know they're going to run away. Which is why we want the bow and arrow. Once we've hit them, they kind of aggro towards us, so they will come. We just need to get that initial hit onto them first. Oh, we actually killed that one. No, we actually killed that one as well. We didn't mean to do that, but it is what it is, so that's fine. Uh, there's one more down here that we can go and grab. Oh. oh, we should be quite good to get that. Perfect. So that is all 10 of the chickpeas. They're now finished. We want to hit these cadavers. Oh, this one's uh, doing a great job of avoiding us. Wow, okay. We're going to keep going. We don't want to waste too many arrows if we can help it. There we go. We got it out of time. 97% chance we should be good. We're going to go and get that effigy that we saw. Oh, that was just over here. And that is all 10 cativers. We no longer need to get cativers and we no longer need to get the chickpeas. They are done. Uh, if any point, you can just press tab, go into your pound deck and you can see what it is you need. So we need two more uh, lamb balls. Um, but these are now complete. We get no more bonuses and they are also complete. We get no more, no more bonuses. So this starting area now pretty much done. Just two lamb balls and we're good to go. Um, none over there. So we'll head down. We'll grab some more of these stones. And pretty much at this stage, we're just going to go from the starting area down to the next, which is the second uh, fast travel. And then we can head back. We can depot everything that we've got. 
Um, and again, we can continue to see if there's anything we can build out on the base at this stage. There's a land bolt over there. There's a couple more over there. So this is exactly what we need. We'll just grab these using our wooden club. Again, at the moment, there is no real point in using anything else. Uh, we don't need it. We're not going to kill anything we don't need to kill. We're not going to fight anything we don't need to fight. Now, this is a level three, which means it's slightly harder to kill and catch. But we should be good. Level two is going to be much easier. Now, our weapon is damaged, meaning we're doing a lot less damage now as a result of this. Um, but we should be okay. Still got 100%. Now, we need to go back and heal up. But we are at level 11. Level 11 already, which is a fantastic place to be. Now, there is a Fox Parks down here. Uh, no, sorry, it's a chickpea. We'll ignore that. Uh, we can't use that weapon anymore, but we can still use our bow and arrow. We have 13 uh, plus the one in the chamber. We have 14 left. So if there's anything we want to catch, for example, we really want to catch uh, one of these. So we're going to try and see if we can. Now that one's going to run off. We're going to hit it. Once we hit it, it aggroes towards us. Now we want to be very careful that we don't get into a fight that we can't win. Like this. Because the damage it does is incredible at this stage. So we want to make sure we don't die. So we can jump out of the way. We can keep hitting it. We've only got a couple of arrows left. Now that should be enough to capture it. It might not. So we're going to have to do a few of these. If it does decide to get out, we're going to have to go again. Uh, unfortunately, Chickpea's decided it wants to fight us. Oh no, the chickpeas are, are after us. Ugh. We're going to keep going. Uh, now the other one's aggroed onto us. I think that might be a, that might be GG. We might die here. We're going to keep going. We've got seven more though. Yet yeah, we actually got it that time. So we were really fortunate to be able to get it. Now that is a great capture. It's a hard capture, but it's a great capture. Now we can't really do anything else because we have no weapons. We have no arrows or anything. So at this stage, we're just going to go back, heal up. We will need some food. So we need to eat. So we can just go ahead and eat the raw food. It does still um, give us everything that we need. Maybe not as much sanity or anything like that, but it does still heal us over time. So as long as we're full health, we'll start to heal. So we're going to run back. Just grab a few things on the way. And we want to get that fast travel point. Also, there's a sphere down here. We'll grab this. Now, I appreciate if you're playing in multiplayer, a lot of this land is going to have been taken over by other players. Um, so in single player mode, it is a bit easier. But you can still do this. It's just going to take you longer. And I didn't want you to have to suffer watching me fight that in this video. Um, I just want to show you how we're going to get ahead. All right. So now we're back in our base. We can consider everything we need to do. So the first thing we can do is we can get out our pals um, that are going to be able to... Um, do the work for us. So now we've got wood. Wood is going to be an absolute um, abundance now because of this. Also, we could also get rid of one of our Vixies if we want to. Um, we can keep everything else at the moment. Um, but definitely want the planting. We can get rid of one of the Vixies and put the Thwack in its place. That is going to help us in terms of being able to. Okay, so he is logging. Look, 44 now of that. And uh, there's 21 stone. So we have a... We have an abundance of stuff there. Also, just look inside here at just all of this stuff we can now pick up. Arrows, as well as spheres. As you can see, so, so easy for us to be able to turn around, head back out, and do the exact same thing again. And before we do that, look at what we need to build. We need a hot spring and a primitive furnace. So what do we need to be able to build our hot spring? Well, technology tree, scrolling down. Hot spring, we can unlock that now. Primitive furnace, we can unlock that now. And we can get ourselves down to a high quality workbench. We can also do a feathered hairband, which we're going to do right now. Uh, we could do the free shot bow. I don't think it's worth it personally. I'd wait for the crossbow. Um, I'd, I'd keep that. We can do metal tools, but again, there's no point doing a pickaxe because we used a rush more. The metal axe could be nice if we wanted to, but we don't. We just we really don't need it at this stage. We've got all of the wood and stuff that we need, so we're just not in a place where I feel like we need those tools. Um, and instead, what we're going to do is we're going to 
Uh, look at the base upgrade, build a hot spring, build a furnace, and build a berry plantation. Okay, so berry plantation, going to be very easy to get that one down first and foremost. We can just put it down right next to where the other one was. Now, he's on fire, which is not good. I don't know what he's doing here, um, but because he's on fire, I'm just going to put him away for a minute because I do not want him burning this place down. I don't know why he's there. I don't know what he's doing. He shouldn't be doing that. In fact, if I was to pick him up right now, I could just like put him in the corner and tell him to stay here. Like He doesn't need to go anywhere else. Again, that fire can be a problem, and we need to upgrade that as quickly as possible uh, to make it a cauldron uh, to remove any uh, challenges with regards to that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to remove this, and I'm going to put that berry plantation down, and I'm going to put it down right next to the other one. So the two of them are down together. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at what we now need, which is the hot spring. For that, we need 10 power fluids and 30 wood. Well, as I mentioned before, wood is not a problem. We have an abundance of it. Uh, the same with stone. It is no longer a problem. So anything stone and wood related can go into here. But we need power fluids. Okay, so in order for us to get those power fluids, we need to go out and capture specific powers that are going to be water related. Water related powers. Okay, so that is our next mission. That's what we need to do right now. So that's what we're going to head out and do. We need to get some more arrows to be able to do that. To get some more of this power fluid. So we'll get some more of these power spheres. Uh, we can see we've got some more arrows being crafted. That's great. So we'll take the arrows out that we've got. We do have um, 27 power spheres, so we're okay at the moment. But we do want to make this feathered headband. So we can go ahead and do that. We also want to make our shield. And also, we do still want two primitive workbenches. So we are going to put our second one down uh, next to the first. Um, but we can, at this stage, just check in our gear... Um, our wooden club, we do need to repair that. So we'll go ahead and do that now. The bow and everything else is okay. So now we can go ahead and we can remove this repair bench. And instead we can just focus on... We might want to make a shield because we don't have a shield. So we're going to make our feathered hairband. Then we're going to make our common shield. And then we're going to go out and find as many of those thwacks as we can. We'll head down to the water area. And that's going to be the best place for us to get all of these power fluids. Okay, so also making a common shield here. And then after that, we're going to make um, a considerable amount. So we've got our armor. We've got everything else. Now we're going to make a considerable amount of arrows. So we don't need to make that many. We can do 60. 60 is going to be absolutely fine for us. We can finish off the shield. Looks like there's something on the floor there. We'll just pick that up. Okay, so we're going to make the shield. Now it's night time. So we do have to consider it being night time. End of the second day so end of the third day end of the third day now yes because end of the first day we got the base up end of the second day we automate it so now end of the third day all right we've got our shield and now all we need the only other item we need are power spheres which we can make uh, some more of as well so start production on those and we're pretty much ready to head out we've got everything that we need now we've got our power spheres we've got our arrows uh, we can put our food into here uh, so that these guys have got food and they're okay. We don't really need to take anything out, uh, else out with us. Um, that stuff can just sit in a box for now. And we're good to go. Alright, everyone's sleeping. Everyone's chilled out. That's all good. All we need to do now is head outside. We're going to do that by going to fast travel. And we're going to come back down to this area here. Now, this was where we come to earlier. Now, at night time, there's going to be different uh, pals that we're going to have to take into consideration. Not all of them are going to be friendly. Some of them are going to be evil, um, like the Hoocrats. But we can capture these. So, level 4 Hoocrats. Uh, we can also, if we want to, just use our club. Now, these are going to hurt our shield, but we should be okay. We should be able to do enough damage to this uh, to hurt it. We can also use our pals if we need to. It's like a 61% chance of capturing it. We'll try again. This one's level 3. Yep, we got that one. Alright, 70% this time. There's a couple of uh, Desperos over there. 
Uh, we can grab these as well. Now these ones we might, because these can uh, do a bit more damage to us. We might want to just use arrows to uh, take these out. Oh, we missed that one unfortunately. We'll grab that one instead. Oh, that one unfortunately died, but that's okay. We can pick up the Venom Glands. Also, we have Daydreams here as well, so we can pick these up. But these are slightly higher level, which means they're going to be slightly harder to kill. But using our pout should be quite easy. We'll put our pout away, just so we don't end up doing any damage. And if it does get out, which it doesn't, that's fine. Nice, so now we're capturing some of these Night Powers as well. So there's another Daydream here, we can come and grab this. Just really using the night time to our advantage to be able to capture some of the uh, powers that aren't available during the day. Again, it's all experience, it all helps to level us up. Yep, we got it that time. Hit on the uh, the rock there, the stone. But again, low level, low health, easy to capture. And already at level 12. Now remember, we only need to get to level 18, so we're getting a lot closer now. We still have, uh, we've got no arrows left now, but we do still have quite a few of these. We've got 18 of these spheres left. So we're going to go in now with our wooden club. There's a couple of uh, foxes here, fox parks that are laying down. This one's a level 4, so we're going to take this one out first. Uh, Whilst it's sleeping, unfortunately, as sad as that is, we're just going to batter it. Hopefully by the time it wakes up, we'll have... Uh... And that, that only took our shield out. It didn't actually hurt us, as you can see. Alright, that's um, pretty low. It's an 82% chance there's an egg down here we can grab. Okay, now we're not actually getting any of the... Uh items that we actually need which is the power fluids but we are we are able to actually go to the shop if we want the village and we can buy them from the merchants now we do have the gold to do that but we're just going to capture these okay and we've got another level three here so we can go ahead and take this now remember daydreams they can do us some damage uh, also they work from range Oh wow, so the villager just decided to, uh, oof. we could capture the villager, I don't actually want to do that, that's a bit of a bad thing to do, so we're going to ignore that. We can pick these things up if we want to, we don't need them, but we can pick them up, we're going to head up towards this area, see if there's anything else for us to collect. And now it's starting to become daytime again. There is a Nightwing there. We're not really in a position to catch that Nightwing, but we're going to head down to the left to the water to see if there are any um, water powers down here. There are some fox parks. There's also, oh, here we go. We can see a Penglet over here. We'll grab that. We're not going to fight the deer because they're a high level, uh, but the Penglet is definitely something that we want to grab. So we'll, uh, we'll chuck this down here. Now, Penglet being a level 3 is just going to run away from us because we don't have any arrows at the moment. Yeah, we're not in a position to uh, to do anything because we don't have any arrows. We might not be able to get this first hit off, which is what we need because that first hit is what's going to allow us to, uh, to stun it to get it to fight us. So we'll try one more time and if we, uh, we can't, then we'll just leave it. And we'll head back and we'll get some more arrows. And no, it looks like that. Oh, no, it's coming back our way. Perfect, we were able to hit it. So, it's pretty dazed. Now, we're going to pull our power away because what we don't want our power to do is kill this penglet. Uh, we've got a good chance here, a 74% chance rate. Yep, 
So that's another bit of power fluid that we got there. Now, what we could do with the power fluids is we could actually harvest the powers to be able to get more power fluids. And we're not going to do that. Um, but we could do this. It's an option that we have. So around water, bodies of water is where we're going to find these. There's a level 6 penglet there. Uh, we can try to capture that. Might be a little bit difficult. It's probably going to run away from us, but it's a level 6, so it might not be as scared. Um, it's going to be a lot harder to kill, so... We're going to have to do some damage to this. Um, I have to also uh, appreciate that it's going to attack us and do a lot of damage if it hits us. Alright, now we can pull away our... Alright, 44% this chance, 63 after the initial capture. We might be lucky. Yep, we're actually lucky. We got it. And look, there's more up here. There's another level 4 and another level 6. Again, those power fluids is what we're after. So that one's going to run away from us. Yep, they're both scared. So we're not going to chase them at the moment. We're just going to fast travel back, save our time, and get some more arrows. Alright, so at this stage, all we need right now are arrows. Nothing else. Um, there is some stone there, we'll grab that. There's some wood there, we'll grab that. Put it into our base. And anything else that's going to make us over encumbered, we can drop off. So if there's an egg or anything like this that we don't need, even the power fluids, as long as it's in a box, that means that we can use it anywhere within our base. So arrows are what we're stuck on at the moment. If there's anybody here that's not working, we can just check by pressing F. We can see, like for example, one is not working there. So we can pick them up, put them back. If for any reason they're not working, we can simply just do that and bring them back into here and they can uh, carry on. Sometimes they clip outside. It can be a bit of a nightmare. Um, so we just have to consider that. There's enough food there for now, so we don't have to worry about that. Although we can definitely use some food ourselves. We don't have to cook it. We can actually eat it raw. There's no, bon no, no penalties for that at the moment. Nice. So everybody working, doing their job. And these are swapping. So whilst the um, lift monk was actually seeding, the thwack was helping us. Now the thwack is watering and the lift monk is helping us. So it's good the way that they do alternate jobs and keep things going. Uh, we got, as I said, wood and stone is uh, in good supply, so we don't have a problem there. Uh, we got the uh, Vixies that are helping us. We just need a few more arrows. We've also got some spheres here we can make. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. So we can head back out again. We've got 24 spheres. Uh, it's just arrows that we're short of at the moment. We want to make as many of these as we can. Stone is what we're short on. Uh, so again, we can just go and grab some stone and just keep making these and then we can head out again. So we've got everything we need. So we're just going to go fast travel, head back to this location where we just was. And we'll see if we can find any more that are going to give us that power fluid. So we can head towards the water source. Now we don't want these gummos. They're not really going to do anything for us at the moment. Um, I don't think we need a cadaver. We can check with a power deck. No, they're complete. It's just... And chickpeas are complete. So, we don't need these. We do actually need these. So, if we can grab these guys. Oh. We'll, we'll grab them. Um, because these are going to... Now, they're going to try and attack us, but that's fine. He's a level 5, so it's going to take a little while. We should be able to capture him. Nope. Okay, we'll try again. 85% chance. Excellent. Right, we got him that time. And so that is a new power. We haven't captured him before. We'll get the headshot on him. And we'll just use the uh, the wooden club to be able to finish him off. Uh, it's much easier to claim that one. And there's actually two more down here. This one's a level 5, so he's going to be a lot harder to hit. Alright, we'll try our best. There's a couple more deer up there that we can get. He actually escaped. We didn't get him. We'll try again. Uh, 
Okay, so we're level 13 now. We're getting very close to those stone structures, which is what we're aiming for. Now, we could go for these two. Uh, we will need help to be able to capture them, but we can try. We're also going to have to use our bow and arrow. Now, we really don't want both of them to attack us at the same time, but it looks like they're going to. You can see the damage that these things do. They are really... And there we go, we're dead. <laughs> now, if you do die, it's not a problem. Um, no one's going to be able to rob your gear at the moment. Uh, in the future, I'm sure they'll be able to, but because there's no PvP at the moment, um, it's quite safe. We just need to be able to travel to the nearest point where we just was. So uh, we need to fast travel to near where we died. So we spawn, we fast travel to near where we died. We head back. You'll see there'll be a blue light, which you can actually see here, that guides you towards your gear. And then you can simply just run over and pick it back up. Now, it does say clicked it before somebody else does. So, I'm assuming that if you are playing on a multiplayer server, eventually somebody else will be able to pick up your gear. I do not believe at the moment that is enabled. I might be wrong, and it might have changed by the time this video comes out. But in the first few days of playing, um, nobody's been able to click this uh, when you drop it. So, again, don't risk it, and definitely don't take too much stuff out with you, but just be aware that it's possible. It is definitely possible that you will be able to lose your stuff to other players uh, in that situation, which is why you don't want to die. I just haven't seen it happen just yet. There is a Nightwing up there. We do want a Nightwing. There's also a Tansy here. We can try and get the Tansy. Could be another really good one for us to kill. All right. And just following the water along, up here we can see there are Tiefants. These are new that we haven't seen yet, but they are going to give us power fluids. So anywhere following this water along, it's going to be really helpful for us. And we'll go along and we'll take the Tiefants for now. Again, 10, 10 power fluids is what we're really looking for at the moment. Nothing else matters. We don't have too many arrows. So for these, we're just going to bash them with a club. We're not going to go and uh, uh, hit them with bows and arrows. Alright, 88% chance there. Now this one's running away, so again, if we need to, just to get him to engage with us, uh, we can just tag him with the... Uh... Oh, that's most of our shield gone, but he's only a level 3. So it should be quite easy to get him. And again, those power fluids, just getting a few more of those. Now, the shields in this game, they are... Uh, they, they will... Rejuvenate in time. Uh, this is a lift muck, which... Uh, normally when you hit these, they'll run away. Which means we're going to need to bow and arrow it. Sometimes you can stun them. We're going to try and get a back bonus on him as well and see if we can kill him that way. Yep, we are able to get him there. That was fantastic. We'll take another one here. This Tansy. He is a level 4 Tansy, but uh, we should be absolutely fine. Oh, I can also hear up there somewhere, there is a, what sounds like a Lucky, which we could go and experience and find out. Now, not too bothered at the moment. Alright, so good chance to capture him now. We're going to take this fast travel point so we can come back here. And also, we're just going to have a quick look to see. The Tansy there that is attacking us, but we don't have to fight that. There is a Lucky up here. We can hear it. I don't know what it is. We'll have a look. Uh, it could be over the edge. Maybe it wasn't at the top. Oh, here it is. Oh, wow. It's a Tiefen. Okay. I kind of feel like we might need to take that. It's a level 3 Tiefen, but it's a lucky Tiefen. So I kind of feel like we're going to go for it. Uh, we'll just hit it. It's going to be really hard to do any damage to it. So we're going to have to... And it's also going to have... Uh, because it's a lucky, it's going to have some special uh, abilities. Now, 
for some reason, our, um, he's, he looks like he's stuck at the moment, and I don't think our Rushmore is going to get to him either. So we can probably get behind him, um, hit him with a wooden club, but it doesn't look like we're... Yeah, we've actually damaged our weapon here, so we're going to go for a, a stone axe now. Hmm, strange. Okay, we're going to try again. 75% capture rate. We might be lucky. Yep, we were able to get our lucky. We got power fluids, and we got precious entrails, and ancient civilization parts, which you get from uh, grabbing a lucky. So that was fantastic. And we're also now level 14 as well. Um, some more Tiefants here. We'll grab this level 1. Oh, we need to watch our stamina. Our shield is, um, again, as I was mentioning before, the shield will regenerate over time as long as you don't take damage. So you need to make sure you stop taking damage. And if you uh, you see our shield at the moment is almost dead, our health won't uh, be affected while we got a shield. But as soon as our shield is down, our health will be affected. If you don't have a bow and arrow, but you have a lot of power spheres, you can throw a power sphere to aggro something towards you. Um, you can see there's also on the beach here, these uh, these things out in the water. They're called uh, celerays. Uh, we could grab one if we wanted to. We don't really need to at the moment, but we're going to get some more power fluids. We've already got five, uh, plus what we've got back in the base. So pretty much everything we need, we're going to get from this area right here. Here's a level four. So this one's... Uh, yeah, we're just going to throw this out so he can do some damage. Now we need to look at the elements as well. Water element. What is going to help against a water element? Oh, okay. Well, he's dead. That was a little bit, a little bit too aggressive for my liking. But uh... yeah, sometimes if they're going to run away, you could try and throw a ball. If you're lucky enough to hit it, which I'm obviously not, uh, then you will aggro it towards you. Nope. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and try and get... I did see uh, some Tiefants over here. We'll grab these. Now we've only got eight left. So we want to be careful with this. Our armor is damaged, but our shield is back up. So I reckon a couple more Tiefants and we should be okay. So we'll just grab these. Forty-nine percent. We might get lucky. Oh no, it actually bounced off, so we didn't actually get him with that. We'll grab him. That's a hundred percent. We'll get this one. Oh, one more hit. Okay. We should hopefully get him. Excellent. And now we can head back. We should be in a position where we've got enough power fluids. So we've got eight here, plus the ones we've got back in the base. We'll just grab this sphere. We don't need the land balls. We've already got those. Um, but you can see this area where we're at. And we're going to go towards Fort Ruins. That's where we're going to uh, TP back to our base. So already about just over 30 minutes into this. About 35 minutes in, and already you can see just by where we are at level 14. So we're very, very close to getting up to that level 18. We should be able to do that within a two-hour mark. Okay, so we need to head up here. Uh, if you're looking on the map, you can see where it is you need to go. So if I kind of face this direction. Now, we do need some more Tiefants. I don't think we have enough of them yet. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just try and capture one more. We'll try and get a back bonus on this one and see if we can capture him straight away. We might get lucky. Nope, but we can uh, We can definitely... Definitely get him down to a point where it's going to be easier for us to capture him. That's number eight, so we need two more. We'll grab him, and I think there's one more here. Great, we'll grab this one, and then that's all ten. So this weapon is now also damaged, so we're going to go for the last weapon that we have available to us at the moment, which is the pickaxe, because it's going to do the most damage. A weapon that's damaged does not do much damage at all, so just bear that in mind. All right, we should capture him. 
Perfect. Right, head back up, go back, repair everything. And we can get our spa down. The spa is going to help with sanity. Sanity is something that will deplete um, from your powers that are working in your base. Oh, sorry, I actually fast traveled to the wrong one. Sanity is something that will deplete over time, and we're going to need to keep on top of that. But look at how many of these we've got in our base now. Again, really, really good to have those uh, Vixies early on. Uh, makes life so much easier. Uh, we've got these arrows that are ready, so we can pick those up. We're ready to just go straight back out again now. Also, 121 wood. So much wood, we actually can't move. So much wood, we actually can't move. We need to be able to dump that. Uh, we can pick up this stone. So as you can see now, just there is no need for us to stress or worry about resources. All of this is happening whilst we're out. Whilst we're out, which is very, very important to, uh, to know here. Okay, so what do we need to do? Well, we said we need to put down a repair bench. We can do that right over here. Um, I can even put it down in the corner out of the way. I should be able to. Nope, it's not going to let me. That's okay. I'll put it down here instead, just by the door. All right, and I can build a hot spring. So the hot spring was the next thing on the list. Um, I now have everything I need to be able to do that. I just need to choose where it's going to live. Well, I think a good place for it to go is going to be right in this corner here. So we can go ahead and put that down here. Uh, they'll build that for us because I don't have to. So I can leave that for the, uh, the team to build. The other thing I'm going to need is a primitive furnace. So what do I need for a furnace? Well, a primitive furnace is going to require stone, wood, and flame organs. Flame organs we can get from the, um, the foxes, um, but now I need 20 stone. So, because I don't have enough stone there, I'm going to have to go out and get some stone. Well, it just so happens I can open my door. I can head outside. And I don't need any ore at the moment, but there is going to be some stone right here. So, if I grab my guy out, press F... Okay, because this is why we got the saddle, remember? So now, I just rush into that, and there's 28 stone right there. Uh, I've got some more I can hit right here. There we go. Uh, oh, I oh, didn't mean to fly that far, but I've got 57 stone as a result of that. So, i um, going to try and get back up. If, I, if you can't get back up, just press F, jump off, um, run up. He's, his rush sometimes does cause you to fly over the edge. Um, but we can just press E. Bring him back. Hold down F. And again, we can just charge this stone. And uh, if we if we position it correctly, we'll be able to hit this stone, bounce off of it, and hit the next stone. And we've actually got 49 stone. We've actually got so much stone now we can't move. So what we need to do is just drop 50 of it. And head back inside. So now, a very, very quick and easy way for us to be able to build, um, uh, to get stone if we need to, without a pickaxe. Also, all of this ore, we'll be able to do that for this ore later. Uh, as we're kind of moving out of that early game stage now, into the mid game. Uh, we, oh, I do not like the fact that he is burning. Okay, well, as long as the house doesn't burn down, I'm a little bit worried about that. Um, I think this is a good opportunity for us to maybe move that fire. I don't think it's a good idea to have it where it is. I think for now we can uh, we can look at uh, just putting the furnace down. And the furnace can go here. That's a good place to put it. We've got the spring. The spring has been built. Um, there's nothing else that we need at the moment. So once this is built, we'll be able to level up again. Uh, we do need to cook. It is something we're going to have to consider doing. I think for now, though, I'm thinking about putting the uh, thinking about putting the uh, the campfire just kind of in the corner out the way, so hopefully nobody touches it. I'm a little bit hesitant to put it anywhere where people can get caught on it, um, but I'm hoping that just simply by putting it here, no one's going to stand on it. We'll have to wait and see. But a cauldron is on the way. So if we go into our technology, we've got a few extra levels here. Uh, we should be very close now to getting a cauldron. Uh, cooking pot is 17. So we are close. We're not there yet. We can make a meat cleaver, uh, which is something we're going to want. We can make a pelt, pelt armor, uh, which is also something we're going to want. So pelt armor and meat cleaver. 
We don't need the other outfits at the moment. We don't need the uh, other bows. We will need nails. So we need to unlock nails. Uh, the high quality workbench we're going to need. So we'll get that. Uh, we don't really need the metal axe and the metal pickaxe. I mean, we can get them, but we don't need them. They're not important. We will need the medieval workbench. And uh, we will need the crossbow. The crossbow is going to be really good for us. Uh, later on, we'll need a cooler box. We want the mega sphere, the sphere workbench. And at the moment, that's everything that we need. So, again, quite a lot of stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and get some berries cooking. Pick up all of the stuff that's here. And now that furnace is built, our mission is complete. We can upgrade our base to level 8. Okay, so now we need a high quality workbench, medieval workbench, and another POW. So we can put the POW in. That's easy enough. Uh, and choosing which POW we're going to put out now, there's, there's a lot to choose from. There's no right or wrong answer. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, put him in for now. What we really want to do and what's really important for us at this stage is to make sure that we have one of everything working. That's really important. So this is a, uh, whereas this only does watering. So a Tiefen only does watering, whereas a Thwack does watering, handyman, and also transporting. So they're multi-talented. Sometimes multi-talented is good, sometimes not so much. Um, but for us in this instance, um, all we need to worry about is uh, leveling everything up. So we're going to make some more arrows. Uh, I think in this instance we can go for like another 40 arrows. That's uh, going to be fine for us. And we need a repair bench where we can repair all of our tools. And then we're ready to go back out again. Also, we can get rid of our cloth outfit now. I think it's ready. It's time for us to upgrade our cloth outfit to the pelt, which is going to require some leather. So we don't need to repair that one. Uh, we can just go ahead and make a new one. In order to do that, we're going to need a high quality workbench though. So a high quality workbench requires us to get 10 nails and 15 ingots. So now... We need the furnaces working. In order to do that and get the furnaces working, very, very simple. We're just going to head outside. Uh, we'll first drop everything off that we don't need at the moment. We might need more. If you need more uh, boxes at this point, you can just drop them down. Uh, we're going to chuck down our rush ore, jump on him, and we're going to try and position this so that we're in a direction where we can rush this ore, hit it, bounce off of it, and then hit another one. It's quite tricky to do. But if you do it right, you can actually bounce off and hit about three of these at once. And there's two, and that just gives us 30 ore. All right, so now we're going to enhance our stats. We need to make sure our health is at like a 1,000, and then we're going to put our weight up to 500. Any extra points that we get, we're going to put into our health at this stage. So now we've upgraded all of our stats. As you can see, we're already weighted down, but that's okay. Uh, we can simply just uh, reduce some of this by putting it outside dropping it and we can now head inside now this is why it's so important early on to have the uh well the additional weight but the the health points is going to help us so we don't die too early on because if anybody comes and picks up that ore now um if anyone is is there they can take that ore for themselves so we want to make sure they don't do that so we're just going to drop everything that we don't need go back out pick up the rest of that ore because we want to make sure we can pick this up. That's it. And then we can head back in. And again, we can do the same thing. We can just keep doing that if we need to. In doing so, we're going to have this furnace. This furnace, we can now smelt the ingots. We can do 47 now. And the fox parks that we should have. Uh, there should be a fox parks in the base. Uh, yep, just check. Just drop him out. Put him back in. And he will go uh, straight over to here and burn those, uh, we'll get those ingots going. And that's really, really important for us. And at this stage where this base starts to come into its power, because we have that available, everyone else is going to be struggling, fighting for the ore, especially in the starting area where there's not much. And we're going to need so much of this that right now, if we don't have it, we're going to struggle, which is why it's, uh, we're also going to put down another another box, just so we've got a uh, additional box here. I will put this one down just on this side here. Okay, we've got our arrows that we needed. We've got pretty much everything else that we need. So now we can head outside. We can drop down our uh, rusher again. Jump onto him. And 
just smash into this as I said 39 ore there 39 ore just by smashing into those few rocks we do the same the other way and that's 60 we're weighed down so already we can't move so we need to be able to make sure that we have the weight to be able to do this and that is something which is going to be a big challenge which is why you want enough health points to be able to get started but at the end of the day not too many uh, health points that you're going to be struggling with weight all the time so we're going to chuck down all the bits here that we don't need at the moment everything that can just kind of stay here we're going to keep the arrows we're going to keep the power spheres uh, and we're going to keep a little bit of food everything else right now we don't need it's not relevant to us so it can stay in the box and now i did see some more ore. we're going to pick that up we'll just chuck him down again and we just get a bit more ore. Uh, we can also get trees if we hit wood like this, but we don't really get much. You get a lot of ore, but not a lot of anything else. So, again, just trying to make sure we position this so we hit as many of these as possible. Alright, and we're overweight again. So, just dropping the stuff that doesn't matter to us. And heading inside so that we can drop this off. Now we could put a box outside if we wanted to. That's also possible. Uh, don't forget to shut the front door so that no one else can come into our base. Alright, and we have, in terms of ingots, we can see these are smelting. Now we do need the kindling for that to work. We could also make a second furnace if we wanted to. Uh, just to make that go a bit quicker. But ultimately this is where... A lot of the challenge is going to be initially is going to be getting those ingots done and that's one one of the things that we're going to have to focus on so we're going to spend a lot of time here doing that all right so we've also here got 33 power spheres that we're sitting in there so we pick those up so the other thing that we're going to need to do for this base is a medieval uh, medicine workbench okay so in order to do that uh, it's here we need five nails oh we need to eat as well it looks like we're your HP will go down to 1 if you haven't eaten. You won't die, but you'll only have 1 HP. So make sure that you've eaten and that there's enough food for you and the team. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need is nails. For nails, you need ingots. Okay, one ingot makes two nails. And we need to make ourselves uh, enough nails that we can build out this workbench. So we need five nails. So we need three ingots. So the first three ingots will do that. The next thing we need to do is a high quality, and that's going to take 10 nails, which is 5 ingots. So we need 8 ingots to be able to do the nails, but then also we're going to need another 15 ingots. So we need approximately, approximately, if we just said 25 ingots, which is 25 bits of ore, because one ore is one ingot. Alright, so 25 ore is all we need to upgrade to the next level. We also need to make sure we've got enough fragments, so we can see we need 10 fragments here, which we have. We need enough wood, which we can see. We've got enough wood. We need 50 here and another 30 here. So we're prepared. We're ready to upgrade. Um, the next thing we need to consider as well is we're going to have another another POW. We've got eight beds at the moment with eight POWs. So we know that on the next level we're going to have another POW, which means we're going to need another straw bed. Um, so we can kind of get that down and ready. Uh, we've got the spa there, which I think he's relaxing in at the moment. And that's it. There's not really much else we can do. We could go out and catch some more. Obviously, we've got enough power spheres. We can go out at night, catch them, uh, do what we need to do there. But at the moment, we can't do anything else until the daytime when the Fox Parks wakes up. And then the Fox Parks is going to melt that ore for us. And that's going to allow us to get to that next level. Now, what we can do in the meantime is drop everything off we don't need in this base. And make sure we only have the things we need. And we can head out. So the door is shut. We're good to go. We can go and gather some more. Uh, just going down to the tower here. Now, again, there's different locations we can go to. We can go to the uh, the Fort Ruins if we want to. We can go down to the uh, the grassy hills. Uh, we can even come down to send, uh, the uh, tower entrance if we want to. Inside the tower, there's going to be different um, pals inside of the, uh, the cave that's there. So we can pretty much just choose where we want to go. 
The main thing at this stage in this starting area is for us just to get 10 of everything that we need. Okay, 10 of everything that we need. So at night here, we're going to look around, see what's here. Now there's another one of these Desperados that we saw before. This one's a level 4. Should be quite easy for us to kill. We have a lot of arrows now. So if we need to, we can use more. We can take a risk at about 70, 60, 60 to 70% feels good. A couple of tansies here. This is level 5. Okay, also taking a lot of health. Alright, so we're good. Hopefully we'll catch this one. Wow, okay, no, we missed that one. This one's a level 3. Should be easier to capture. We'll try and capture this one. We'll try with that one again. Right, we got that one. And we got that one. Great. A couple of level 5 Desperados there. We're going to put our pow out to help us now because we're running quite low on health. And this is where the arrow can really come in and help us. Oh, he actually died. Oh, that's fine. So we'll try and capture him. We might need to use another arrow. No, nope, we got him. Brilliant. So again, just being able to uh, pick all of this stuff up, level ourselves up. We're at level 15 at the moment. Just looking for anything else that we're going to need. So possibly it was a fox parks in the water down there. I saw the uh, the light. don't know what it was. Nope, there is a level 6 Hoocrats there. We'll grab the Hoocrats. Uh, there's some Tiefants. We don't need them anymore. There's also Desperado. So these are the night ones. Uh, so we will grab these. Oh, I actually killed him, which was really sad. We didn't want that to happen, but it, 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 it's okay. It's what it is. The Hoocrats looks like he's trapped. Our shield is back up, so now we've got our shield. We're feeling a lot more confident. Right. We actually wanted to miss him there because he hasn't got much health. Our weapon is damaged as well, so bearing in mind we're not going to be doing as much damage with our bow anymore. So a good opportunity for us to head back. Uh, we could try and get this uh, last one while we're here. We're, although we're going to have to... Oh. We're going to have to bash him with uh, this instead. Oh, there's actually two here. I didn't see the other one. Didn't see the level three. Wow, okay. There is a level six here. The Rushmore is going to do some damage. All right, perfect. So we'll try and pick him up. We've got 24 power spheres left, so we're in a great place. We don't need any T-Fents. We've got enough of those. Uh, we can use our pow. Try and get these uh, depressos. Wow, okay. So he did just uh, destroy that one. Uh, we have to pull him away because otherwise he's just going to do too much damage. He might take a few hits. But we have 21 spheres so we can waste them. It's okay. We try not to, but we can. Again, another one captured there. So 371 experience we're getting now just by uh, capturing these. Alright, let's head back. We're going to go to... The fast travel, we're going to go and repair our bow, and also because it's daytime now, Fox Park should be up, we should have enough ingots to be able to level up again. So just looking at the technology tree of where we are at the moment, uh, you can see we've already got our crossbow, so we can go and make that now. Uh, also, the wheat plantation, we'll need that later. The mill, we'll need that. We don't need the monitoring stand, but we can get it. Um, but we're very close to a metal chest, which we want, and we're very close to be able to get a cooking pot. And then stone structure. Stone structure is really the goal of this video. It's what we're aiming towards. And we're almost at the hour mark now. So you can do it if you're a bit more efficient than me. I think we might run over slightly. But we'll get to it. Because um, that's what we're aiming for.
And then we're not worried about our base burning down. At that point, we're a lot more confident. Um, I don't know what he's doing a handstand for, but fair play. Grab the spheres. We'll come back here. We'll grab these ingots. So already 19 ingots, as you can see. We've got those. Um, so we can come across here. Uh, these nails can now be finished. Now we can cancel these arrows because we don't need them. We can make some more nails instead. So remember, we're going to need six in total with the ones that we have here. And if we need to, we can just uh, take out one of our pals and just kind of throw them down there so they can be working on nails. So we can actually work on it together to do them quicker. Uh, or we can just leave him to it. That's absolutely fine. So, uh, we don't want to put the wheat plantation down because we need wheat seeds. We don't have that yet. We'll have to go and find them. Uh, we could put the cooler box down, but we need some ice organs. So we need to go and find some more of those pinglets. We need one more pinglet. Um, but one thing that we can do is the butcher's knife. And I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Oh, and we could put the mill down as well, which is something we're going to need uh, a little bit later. But really trying to get this high quality workbench, which is what we need. And that's going to require these uh, nails. Now, we're not going to sit here and waste our time with these nails. Uh, even though we could do that, we have some nails. What we're going to do instead is we're going to focus on uh, going out and capturing some more. So we're going to repair what we need to repair and build what we need to build. So a crossbow is something we're going to need. Because we're struggling at the moment, we can actually take away one of these lift mooks and instead we can put in a lambo. Uh, this lambo, if we were to pick them up, we can actually... Uh, dedicate them to this desk. Now it says that they're uh, they're on copper ore duty, which they're not. Um, it looks like they're really struggling. Yeah, so it looks like they're really struggling with this uh, with this desk. So we're going to disassemble this one, and we're actually going to move it somewhere else, hopefully to make it uh, a little bit easier. So if we put it maybe here instead. Again, it all comes down to placement. Um, but maybe by doing this. Uh, there we go. So now Lambo's on this one instead, which is much easier for us. So but we'll just we'll just chuck him there. Hopefully he'll work on that. If he doesn't, pick him up, throw him at it. He should assign to the desk. There we go. And now he's making nails. All right. So we've got some more nails here. We've now got four nails. We just need to make one more set of nails, which we're doing right here. And that's going to be enough for us to get the medicine bench down. Right, now it doesn't matter where the medicine bench goes, so we're uh, we're just going to chuck it down right here for now. Right, we can go ahead and build this. Everyone's going to come and help us build it, so we'll build it nice and quick. And we can say at this stage we have enough wood, so maybe we don't need uh, any more wood at this stage. Maybe we want to swap out, and instead, maybe we don't want to have um, a consistent... Uh, stream of wood coming because we've still got like a hundred wood there. So instead of doing that what we could do is um, put that pal away and get out like another lambo or something instead maybe. Uh, this one we definitely don't want to be grazing. So we can bring them over here and just say look go and work on this. Yeah and they could be uh, they could be working over here. Including this one who's going to be working over here. Alright, so now they're working on the nails, which is what we need. So again, we only need 10 nails. Oh, pressed the wrong button, but just to check. Uh, the old bow, so we can repair that, because obviously we don't uh, have a bow working at the moment. So that's going to be helpful. And our armor, the more we get attacked, the more armor gets damaged. Now, again... We're not too bothered about the cloth outfit at the moment. We could repair this, but there's no there's no point right now. We can repair the feather hairband. It will take some fragments and some fiber. So we've actually just run out of fragments. Now, rather than going out and getting any more fragments, we can just come over here. We have this crusher. We have quite a lot of stone now. So we can just say, hey, look, we want to take 50 of that stone and turn it into fragments. And now as we level up to this um, high quality workbench, we need 15 ingots and 10 nails. Oh, okay, we can acquire the ingots. We've got them there. The nails are now done, which means we can now just simply put the workbench down. 
Okay, we don't need this uh, power workbench at the moment, so we can actually remove that to save the space and also the items. Um, but now we've got this high quality workbench, we can put this one down instead. So what we're going to do is put this down right here. Everyone should come and help us build it. The thwack looks like they're stuck. Um, which, if that ever happens, if they ever look like they're... It says he's building. He is actually building, to be fair. Uh, again, this is the parving issues, the animation issues. Sometimes they uh, they get caught up like that. But that's now done. So we can go ahead and level up our base and get up to level 9. Now we need a cooler box and a sphere workshop. And at this point, you might find yourself struggling for space, at which point you can simply just continue to expand the base out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to build the cooler box. Cooler box is going to require 5 ice organs and 20 ingots. So we need to go and get some more of those ice organs. If you don't have any, it's absolutely fine. Just come across to this workbench and we can build the meat cleaver. Okay, if we go ahead and build ourselves a meat cleaver, uh, we can also just take our pow, put our pow there to work. So if we go ahead and build a meat cleaver, once we have this in our inventory, we can summon any um, pow and we can butcher them. Now we have a lot of powers that we're never going to use. So if we take a pow, like an ice pow, and butcher them, there's a chance that we'll get an ice organ and we only need one. So rather than going out and trying to find the things that we need, we can actually get them from within the base. So what we're going to do is grab the meat cleaver. Also, at the same time now, we can make the uh, pelt armor, but for that we need some more leather. So if we get some leather, we can make some pelt armor. And we can also make the crossbow, but for that we need ingots and nails. So we can get the ingots from here. Uh, we've got the nails there over here. There's also some more nails over there, which we can grab. Um, this guy is only working on here, so uh, if we pick him up... Uh, we can try and move him over to this workbench instead. He can finish off those nails. Okay, so now all we need to do is have a look at what we need. Uh, we can go ahead and make our crossbow now. So if we want to, craft a crossbow. They'll build that for us. Again, we're running out of ingots. We've only got uh, one ingot left. So we're going to need some more ore. So in this case, when this ore is running out, we can go outside with our Rushmore. We can go and farm some more ore very quickly. We've got enhanced stats now, so we can get our weight up. Probably put your weight up to about 500, is what I would recommend. That we can make another 53 because of all of the ore that we had. Alright, we're just going to grab some food because we're a little bit hungry. Okay. And now we need to look at the cooler box. So again, we need that ice organ, right? So we're going to go ahead to our pals. And here we're going to choose a pow that has ice or cooling. Um, so what we're looking for is the cooling, which is the ice ability. All right, two of these. So we're going to go and grab these, put them into our uh, base here. Nothing else has that cooling ability at the moment, so there's nothing else we can use. It's just them. And what we're going to do is we're going to summon them. So we're going to press um, E to summon them. So make sure we've got the right one out. Press E. We're going to make sure we've got the butcher's knife selected, which we need to put into our inventory. So we'll do that now. We'll put our power out, and then once our power is out, we'll press 4, and we can butcher. And there we go. We um, Well, I apologize. I'm sorry about that. But we've got two ice organs and a power fluid there. So if you're struggling with power fluids or ice organs or anything like that, you can just butcher. And now we actually have enough to make that cooler box. We just need the 20 ingots, uh, which we should get uh, once Fox Parks comes back out. I don't know where Fox Parks is. So Fox Parks should be working full time on there. Um, unfortunately, isn't going to for whatever reason. So we could take Fox Parks, put him away. Uh, we can grab another one out. And they should just go straight there and work on that because we need those ingots. So the crossbow is almost finished. Oh, I don't even know what he's working on. We'll just we'll just throw him. All right, so we can work on the crossbow to get that finished. Now, this guy over here, he's finished on his workbench. So we can actually assign him to this workbench instead. He can work over there. 
We don't need these workbenches now, these primitive ones. We can actually remove them. Uh, the primitive ones are no longer needed. Uh, we've got this uh, We've got this workbench here instead now. We can use this. We can set another one up if we need to. Once we've got enough uh, material. Oh, just leave him there. Cool. So he's going to work on the furnace to make the ingots for us. We've now got our advanced workbench, which does everything from the primitive. But it also does some additional stuff as well. And you can see we're, we're starting to run out of space right now. We need to build our base up. Um, but we're almost at level 18. So we're going to get our crossbow. That's going to allow us to go and fight some bigger and better bosses. We're going to collect all of these spheres. We have enough arrows. Uh, we've got 116 arrows, 41 spears. So we've got enough to get to level 18 now. We're just going to drop everything we don't need to take with us. Uh, we're going to put all of that into the uh, the base. Everything else can go into here. We'll take those out. We've got 42 of those now, which is great. Everything else can stay here. Uh, the crossbow almost finished. We're just going to finish it off. Great, the crossbow is now done. Now we also need some leather. If you remember, there are some pals that give us leather. Uh, we just make sure we can uh, we can pick them up and choose. So uh, Rushmore would give us leather, but we don't really want to kill our poor little Rushmore that we've got. Um, Cativa, if you're ever unsure, just click and it will hopefully tell you what they can sometimes drop as a result. Sometimes if you click on them, sometimes lays an egg when associated to a ranch. Um, but it also sometimes tells you what they drop. So we don't need all of these uh, these cadavers at the moment. So we can uh, come out with our butcher's knife. Uh, summon them. Once they're summoned, press number four and butcher. Now again, we just need some leather. Uh, we only got some red berries that time, unfortunately. We didn't get what we wanted. So um, if we don't get any, that's fine. We can also just go back out, try and find some more. Uh, another five ingots, and then we can get our cooler box. We've got enough ice organs. And the only other thing we need to do is build a sphere workshop uh, workbench. So for that, we're going to need to level up. Go to our technology tree. Sphere workbench is going to take 10 nails, 30 wood, and 10 fragments, of which we have enough. So again, we can come over here. 172 wood at the moment, so we can acquire that. Put it straight into there, because we need that space. Anything we don't want, we can just drop into here. Uh, same thing with the stone. There's a lot of stone that we just picked up. We can drop that off. We've got our crossbow. So now we're going to use our bow, our crossbow, our club if we need it. We don't really need the cleaver right now. And then we have our other tools should we need them. Um, but really at the moment, we, we don't really need them. Um, the ice box is great because it's going to keep stuff uh, longer, so food will not spoil as quick. But honestly, right now, it's it's not really a, a problem for us. It's not something that we're worried about. So uh, we'll make the cooler box because we need to, because it's telling us to make it. Um, but in terms of like, we're not really worried about it. Okay, so we'll just we'll just chuck it down here for now, let it get built, and the next thing we need to build is this sphere workshop, which we just need some nails for. So we need to go ahead and just make ourselves um, two sets of nails, in which case we need two ingots. So an ingot will make a set of nails. We need two ingots, which means we need two sets of nails. So we can go ahead and make this, and then we're going to level up. But we're gonna need to put this somewhere. This sphere workbench needs to go somewhere, or we're running out of space. So we don't, we don't actually need the two berry farms anymore. Uh, we only had two berry farms set up because it made us at the start. So we can go ahead and remove one of these now. Uh, also, we don't need the medicine bench at the moment. If we need it, we can put it back out later. But for now, we just simply don't need it. So we can get rid of all of that stuff we don't need. Uh, we can finish off these nails, which we will need. And also, don't forget, we can take any power that we've got in our uh, team and put them out to help us to give us that one extra power all right and then as we get ready we can build out we've got everything we need now because we've dismantled some stuff uh, we can put down this a uh, sphere workbench so that can go right here uh, we can build this 
And everyone's going to come and help us build it really quickly. Now we've gone over maybe like 5 or 10 minutes. But we're pretty much there right now at level 15. Now that's finished. We can level up. And we are at level 10. Now we've got two bases. Okay, this is where we want it to be. Now, now we can build our cooking pot, our wheat plantation and our mill. But to be honest, at this stage, I'm not that worried. The cooking pot would be nice to have because it's going to make things cook quicker and it gets rid of the, f the open flame, which, you know, people can walk over. So we do want to get that cooking pot um, as soon as we can. But in order to do that, uh, we need to be level 17. Yeah, we need to get to level 18 to get stone structures. So that is our focal point. Getting to level 10, very, very important because now we can build a second base. In order to do that, we just need to make sure we've got everything we need, which we do. Um, now, we need to take that stuff with us. So we can drop some stuff off here. We can take some wood. We can drop everything off. We've got some wood. We've got some stone. Uh, don't forget, also, we're going to need a, a power fragment as well um, to take with us. Everything else is not really relevant at the moment, so we can kind of leave it if we don't need it. But we want to go and get our second base location down, right? That's, that's key. And so we can fast travel. If we're lucky enough at the Desolate Church, we can go here. Now, most people will probably have built already, so you're going to really struggle to find a decent area that you want to build in. As long as you've got that starting area, that's great. If you're fortunate enough, you can come down here. Now, if someone's got a wooden base, you can burn it down. <laughs> you know, you can do that if you want to. Um, but otherwise, I would consider, if this is available, coming here. This is an incredible plot of land. Massive, massive space. Um, all you need to do is grab a second power box. Um, you don't need to do anything else at the moment, but just put it down. Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to... We're going to look around us. Uh, we want to get a pretty decent circle. Uh, we don't want uh, anything up against the edge if we can help it. We're going to try and avoid most of the edge. Uh, we are going to end up uh, in this area here with a bit of a, a, of a challenge. But yeah, we want to try and get as, uh, as close to this. But as you can see in the background, can you see how the, the, the boundary of the, the base is? is on that rock. You can kind of see the shade and the shadow. So I'm going to bring it forward just so it's not quite on that. Um, and then I'm in a pretty good place and I can just place this down. All right, I'm going to build it because I absolutely must make sure I build it. That's important. And then I can leave it. Once it's built, it doesn't matter at that stage. I can leave it. And this is going to be a base location number two. Now, the reason we want this circle, and actually, this is not the best base location. We can just clip around there, so that's not too much of a problem. Um, but we do want to go back a bit if we can help it. We want this circle to be as flat as possible, as absolutely flat as possible. So we can't really go over too much more this way, a little bit maybe. We can go over a little bit more this way. But ultimately, what we're trying to do is keep it as flat as possible. Now, it's not possible with this corner. It's not completely flat. So we're always going to have an element where we're not completely flat and that's fine because we can work, we can cut the corner off here to lose this corner. That's fine. But ultimately we want to be as flat as possible. So we're just clipping a little bit on that corner over there and a little bit over there because what we're going to do is we're going to build a big wall all the way around this. So if you find that you get it and it's not quite right, just uh, destroy it and you can rebuild it again. Again, what we're trying to do is just get it so it's as flat as possible, um, away from that edge, away from the other edge. And if we simply do that and put it down here, we build it, we're going to have the best chance, the best chance of having a fully um, utilized base by building a wall all the way around this. All right, so we're not going to build the wall just yet, but we can now use this for fast travel so we can go back to our base. And this base is great as a little starting base for us. But now what we want to do is consider, okay, well, this can be a mining base where we can use it to mine. And then the other base can be more of an automation base because you've got certain powers that are going to work. So you want a food preparation base, ideally, one that just makes food, which is just ranches and farms. You want a second base, which is going to be automation. And that automation is going to be all of your production. And you want a third base that's going to be your mining base. So you have a mining base that does all of your wood, stone, and ore. 
You have a food production base that does all of your ranches and breeding, and all of your uh, your your dragon production, uh, your egg production, and then you have a third base which is kind of your assembly base. Okay, so that's what we want to be building. So at the moment, where we are, we need to go out and level up. That's our biggest problem right now. So to do that, we're going to dump off everything that we don't need into these boxes. And we'll take everything else out with us. At this stage, we, we don't really need anything else. We're, we're in a pretty pretty strong place right now. We'll take those. Uh, we'll just dump everything else because we don't need anything else. Uh, the rest of it can all just start, kind of stay here. Now, in order for us to level up again, again, we're going to need a cooking pot, wheat plantation, and a mill. But we're not ready to do that. But getting to level 10 was the key to get that second base. So there's nothing else we need to do here. We just need to take our crossbow with our arrow. Uh, we don't have any arrows. So we uh, we need to just see. Are there any arrows in the base? Yes, there's 123 there. Fantastic. So if we're going to take those out, we'll leave something in its place. And we'll take those berries out. We'll put those berries in the box. We'll just eat a few ourselves. Just so we've got full health. Uh, the rest of the berries can stay in there. And we're good to go. So now we just need to level up to level 18. Alright. Uh, also, oh, we need our uh, we need our leather. Because uh, we need to be able to get that pelt armor. So we need one more leather. Which is the other thing we're looking for. Uh, in the meantime, until we get that, we could repair... Um, our cloth, I guess. It's possible to do that. I don't really worry too much about it, but we could. So it's done. But we want to upgrade this as soon as possible to leather. Okay, so let's uh, let's head out. We're going to head back down to the uh, tower entrance. Now, again, it is night time. So we just need to be able to uh, consider what we're going to catch. Now, this daydream... Okay. That should be enough. Doesn't matter what we catch as long as we need them. Uh, if they are not part of our, our our initial 10, we're not interested. We only want to catch the initial 10 to get our XP. Oh, no, he died. That was uh, very unfortunate. Right, we'll grab him back. Uh, we'll see if we can capture him. We might not be able to, so we'll we'll get another arrow ready. Yep, no, we're actually fortunate we got him. And we've leveled up to level 16. Great stuff. So heading down the bottom here, a couple more of these uh, level 3 daydreams, which is great. There's another penglet there, but the penglet's sleeping. premises we obviously don't have those either we can get our crossbow now as you can see we do so much damage with a crossbow that's the only problem uh, we might need to go back to the bow and arrow the old bow just because it does a little bit less damage um, unfortunately with the crossbow sometimes it takes a while to reload but it's so powerful sometimes one hit kills whatever it is you're looking for so just bear that in mind all right so Oh, there's some depressos here. That's great. We can get those. Decent bit of damage there. Uh, moving back to the old bow. Try and capture again. Looks like we captured one. We should be alright to capture the second. Nope. Right, we'll try again. Yep, we're lucky that time. Right, level four pinglet. We'll go for the crossbow shot first. No, unfortunately, that was just too hard. Uh, we still get the fluids. We still get the ice organs, so it's okay. But again, we really don't want to be killing them if we can help it at this early stage. can't believe we actually killed him. That's uh, very unfortunate. Wow, okay. So we don't want to go for headshots. 
if we can help it. Oh. We'll stick to the old bow for now. And we're going to just continue heading back down towards the river area, seeing if there was anything else that we can pick up. There is another uh, Despresso there. A level 6, which means they should be able to take a crossbow hit. Yep. And that was a headshot, so we can probably get another one on them. No, it actually killed them. Okay. Again, these early level um, guys, they're not really designed to be able to take this crossbow. Uh, so in that case, we're just going to use the old bow. It's uh, a lot safer. Seems to be a fight going on over here with some Tanzis and a Tumbat, which is great. We want a Tumbat, so we're actually going to go over here and see if we can uh, third party this. Looks like the syndicates are fighting. Uh, the Tumbat is there. So, the Syndicate Fogs, we're going to actually leave them. We're not going to get involved in this. Uh, we can help the take the Syndicate Fogs out if we want to. But we actually want that Tumbat, so if they're going to do the damage for us... All right, we can try and get the back bonus. Now, we might not be lucky enough. We actually managed to get one, which is amazing. So uh, Tombat's really good. We also got some ammo and some um, some bits from the uh, the guys here. So we'll take that. There's another Tombat over there. We're going to ignore that. We're going to go and get these uh, Tanzis instead. So I don't think he really wanted to be woken up, but... Alright, we'll try this one as well. Still got 60 arrows and 40 spheres, so in no way are we struggling or worried about anything. Our shield is looking good. There's another uh, depressor over here. One more hit on this guy. Alright, that should hopefully be enough. And we've leveled up. We're at level 17. We have one more level to go. Now, Tiefants, we're not going to bother with. Uh, the Hoocrats, we will. This is a level 6 Hoocrat, so we can actually go and uh, hit him with a crossbow. Do a decent amount of damage. The one in the back as well, we can hit. All right, now we're uh, going to make sure we hit him with the old bow. Okay, we don't want to kill him. We'll get him as well. A Tiefen over the back. We're not worried about them. Brilliant. Alright, so that's seven. Tiefens, I believe we have those. We don't need them anymore. Uh, there is a level 11 Chillet here. Now, this is a boss. Now, we are at level 17, which means we should be able to fight this boss and actually win. We also have the Crossbow. Uh, we're, we're pretty strong. We do a lot of damage. Just need to make sure we're very careful with how much uh, we do. Because we want to try and capture this if we can. It might be quite hard to capture it and that's fine. Alright, so now as you can see we're, uh, we're quite quite low. On 72. Twenty-six is probably as low as we can get it, which is like a thirty percent capture chance. Now we could just keep going with this and we might get lucky. In fact we did get lucky. But that is a boss first kill, which means not only do we get XP, but we get one ancient technology point. Ancient technology points are gonna come in very useful later. We'll talk about those in just a moment. 
But this boss, which is just here, this level 11 chill it, is probably the first boss that you will aim to kill. The easiest one for you to be able to take. And you can do it. You're, you're pretty much ready to do it at this stage. Now you can do it earlier, but it's just sometimes easier to get the extra levels to make it easier to kill them. Alright, so looking down here, uh, we can see that there is another a Tansy down here. We can jump off of here, by the way, because we have our glider. We just press space to glide. Just making sure we don't use all our stamina up. Getting quite close to the ground. As you can see, uh, we can get off of these uh, these big mountains now without, without struggling. So, we're going to try and get that Tansy. We don't need the land ball. We don't need the uh, Tiefen or anything like that. So we can ignore those. And we're just heading back down now towards that tower entrance. So we can go this way. Uh, have a look if there's anything else around here. Again, just want to get to that level 18. We are very, very close. There's some fox parks over here. We do need those. We haven't got all of our fox parks yet. So we'll go ahead and grab these. Now we're not going to use our crossbow because that will probably kill these. We'll just go ahead with our... Uh, our bow and arrow. Oh, very, very close. And we'll see if we can get this one as well. Nope. We'll try again. We should be able to get it this time. I reckon about two or three more and we're going to be at level 18. We're very, very close. So, getting... 500 experience now per capture. A couple of level 6 pinglets here. Oh, missed that one. Alright, got that one though. Oh, we did not mean to headshot him. That was unfortunate. Okay. Should be a bit of an easier capture. We'll move over to the bow just in case he decides to evade. Nope, we got him. And now we have the opportunity to get the night owl, which we really want to get. So we're gonna have a we're gonna have a go and see if we can hit this guy. The night wing. No, it doesn't look like we're gonna we're gonna have to jump down. Uh, but we do want to have a go and try and capturing him. Sometimes the hitboxes are a bit messed up. You just have to get a bit closer. There you go. So we're going to be using the crossbow uh, from now on, especially with some of these bigger bigger guys to uh, take them out. He also is, for some reason, what the? Oh, 33% chance. Now, this is going to be our mount, so we do want to capture him. So we're going to use as many of these spears as it takes to be able to get him. Uh, yep, we got him. That's great. That Nightwing is going to be our early mount. We'll be able to use him in a minute. Also, he gave us the leather that we needed because we were some leather short. We can also grab this guy because we need 10 of these, remember? So a 50% chance. We've only got four arrows left. But there we go. We're at level 18. So it took us a little bit of time, but we did get there. Uh, you can also just grab a couple of these guys if you need to. Again, we haven't gone too far. We're still using the entry-level pals. Oh, did not expect that. No arrows left, though. And we're now 90 minutes in, so that has taken us an hour and a half. Now, I believe you can do this within an hour. Um, it, I, the best I've done it is in 70 minutes. So I think you can do it within 60. The best I've done it on a run-through is 70 um, but today this just took me 90. So it depends on how efficient and how quick you are and how good you are. I'm sure you're much better than me. Uh, but we're going to head back over here now. So we have to go to a fast travel point. So we're looking for the the nearest fast travel point that doesn't involve too much scaling. Just grab these bits. Uh, and for me, that's going to be over here. We're going to go to this one. Now, we can continue collecting if we need to. There's a Gamos there. We can go and hit that with a wooden club. Um, there's nothing else we really need here. We don't need the uh, Chickpea. Uh, chickpeas, we don't need the Cadavers. So, Gamos we could get with a club. Uh, 
It's like a 99% chance. Now he's run off. He doesn't want anything to do with it. Alright, so that's 5 out of 10. So we have a few more of those we need to collect. Also the deer now. Very easy to collect those, especially with the crossbow. And now we can head back to the base. So now stone is really going to be what we're after. We're going to need a lot of stone. And we're going to need to replace all of the base, specifically the foundations first. We're going to need to replace them. And the reason that we weren't too bothered about the base before and where things went and how it went was because we're going to have to remove everything to get the stone foundation down. If we don't, we're going to end up removing the foundation. It will destroy whatever's on top of it. So for that reason, what we're going to do now is go back to our base and we're going to start taking out the foundations one piece at a time and we're going to start over here with the ranch now the challenge with doing this uh, I'm just going to press tab go to technology scroll down we do have this ancient technology point which will allow us to make an egg incubator egg incubators are really really good to have we need five cloth some stone some fragments but then what we can do is we can start to incubate eggs we don't have to go and capture the powers. We might get fortunate enough uh, as we find an egg to be able to... And, and when we breed later, we can actually choose by crossbreeding. We can actually make specific powers that are very, very strong. And that's a whole other aspect of the game that we'll get into. Um, but for now, what I want to do in technology is scroll down. We made it to level 18. So let's have a look. On level 16, we're going to do the mega shield. Uh, we're going to do the metal chest because that's going to be important. We want the wall defense or the wooden defensive wall. The cooking pot. Okay, we're going to want to do the heater and the cooler because they are going to be important to us. And um, we're going to want to do the mega glider and the stone structure set. We're also going to want the heat resistant armor and the cold resistant armor. Those things are really going to help us. Now, the next thing that we're going to be able to do, and we can't do it yet... Uh, in fact, I don't remember what level it's at. We did collect the night. Yeah, there we go. The Nightwing Saddle at level 15. So we're also going to make the Nightwing Saddle. As long as you're level 15, collect a Nightwing. And then you're going to be able to fly around. That is going to become your new mount. Alright, so. What we now need to do, and this is where it's going to get a little bit challenging. Is we need to start ripping out this foundation. So to do that, we're going to press B, C. We're going to click on this. Okay, it's going to take out a square, and now what we're going to do is press B, go back to foundations, and we're going to replace it with a stone foundation, like so. Alright, and we need to do that all the way along. Now, the problem with doing this is if we're not careful, what we're actually going to do is we're going to destroy the, um, we're going to destroy what we've built. Now, we can rotate these to be in a, a different uh, orientation if we want to. Um, but the most important thing is just to get these down. Okay, we need to get this foundation down. And in just doing that alone, we are now secure here. To a degree. So, let's go ahead and just remove a couple more. If I remove this one and then this one, we might be lucky in doing so. But no, that one took out the ranch. You see how the ranch is now gone? But that's okay. Because what we can do is just now quickly just remove all of this. That's now gone. Pick up all of the stuff we need. And then we can go to stone foundation and we can just go ahead and put all of these in. So You might need to move um, some of the guys so that you can do this. Um, they will go eventually. If not, just move them. But uh, And you can do that simply by just picking them up and just throwing them somewhere else. Okay. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and put the ranch back. Because that's going to be an important thing. Now we will have all of the materials for that. And you might struggle to get the ranch down with the roof down. So it might be that you need to take the roof off before you can place this. It might work. It might not. If it doesn't, for whatever reason, simply just take off the roof. It's very, very easy. Um, because you've got no ranch here anymore, there's no real worry about anyone coming in. So you can take all of this roof out. And uh, you'll get all of the materials back for that anyway. And now we can go ahead and we can put the ranch back down where it's meant to go. Um, you might have to move your... Um, uh, your your. Let's just get Vixie out of the way, shall we? Right, Vixie, please be so kind as to go over there. Thank you. Alright. 
and now you can see we can put our ranch down it will work so we're going to go ahead and just drop this as such make sure that it is okay we want to make sure we've got enough room on the left and the right and at the back which we do and now that that's done we can go ahead and uh, disassemble all of the walls okay so all of these walls they can now go and we can go ahead and with our foundations we can add ourselves our stone walls so we're pretty much rebuilding everything we already had now at this stage you may want to go too high uh, if you want to do that you can the way that I recommend doing this if you're gonna go too high is to actually still put the floor in underneath and that way you can have an upstairs area that you build but you are going to need a lot of stone to be able to do this. So you're going to have a load already that you can use. Um, and if you need to get more, I recommend using the, uh, the rush ore to be able to go and get that. But yeah, stone is definitely going to be one of the things that holds you back now in building. We're going to go ahead and build a stone roof too high. And the reason for that at the moment is because later on we might build one a bit lower. Um, but we can go ahead now and just make this whole base... Um, a lot bigger so we're going to put these down uh, we've got enough to do this and now we are we are solid uh, we're not worried anymore we can't um, we're impervious to fire damage uh, we've got a much much bigger area now we're much much stronger as a result and so now we just need to continue here one by one by doing this now if I remove this I'm going to destroy this um, as a result and you need to bear in mind that if anything's in here Maybe you're going to struggle by being too um, too big. So we can take that out. Uh, we can also uh, take this out uh, now. We can go ahead and put that foundation in. And now we've built, we've built this whole area out, which is great. Uh, we can continue to do this um, as we move around. So how do you want to lay out your base? That's kind of what you need to start considering now. Like how we're going to do this. Maybe you want to build out uh, an additional one out the back here. Uh, if you can. Uh, maybe you don't. And if you don't, that's fine. Um, but just to start to consider when you're doing this, and you're putting these walls in its place, do you want a window instead? Maybe now it's a good opportunity for you to build a window so you can look out. Um, you can really decide what you want to build, how you want to build it. Uh, totally up to you at this stage. There's, it's, it's however you want to build your base. I would recommend, though, just to get that foundation upgraded as soon as possible um, and to work around. You want to, if you can at this stage, get as many people working on the stone as possible and just spend a bit of time getting your second base location down, getting your base upgraded to stone, and that is everything you need to do. So we're going to go ahead and just finish this. We're going to remove all the things we don't need at the moment because they're kind of in the way, including this. So everything we don't need. Now, again, we're over encumbered because we're carrying too much stuff at the moment. So we're going to have to drop some stuff, go back over to our box and uh, put some stuff in here out of the way. Now, what we can also do now in our storage is we can make a metal chest. Right? We have enough to make a metal chest. So I would recommend at the first opportunity that you have to get that foundation down the stone foundation and to build yourself a metal chest so I'm gonna put a metal chest right by the door here uh, it's gonna make it much easier for me to get in and out now they'll build that for me which is great and then I can store stuff now I've left a bit of gap around here it's not perfectly against the wall and the reason I've done that is simply because it's accessibility. I don't want the POWs to struggle to be able to move because of parving issues, uh, which is often an issue in this game at the moment. And so as a result, for accessibility, I don't want to, um, to do anything that's going to hinder them. And for that reason and that reason alone, I tend to put stuff not right next to the wall. I tend to give it a bit of a gap. Now I can go and pick this wood up. Okay, and we're in a much, much stronger position. So I can go ahead now. I can take out this uh, plantation. We don't need this anymore, so that can go. That is also going to allow me to rip out these four foundations. And I can put in the stronger foundations uh, as a result. So we're going to go ahead and drop those. I will need him to move. 
he's not going to, so that's fine. I'm just going to pick him up, and I'll throw him over there. Sometimes these guys, you might want to get rid of your pals if they're uh, if they're struggling. Just uh, you can try and throw them out the way. Sometimes they just come back. <laughs> yeah. All right, we were able to get that one down, so that worked. But otherwise, just put the pals away. It just makes life a little bit easier for you. Okay, so now we also need to think about the beds and where the beds are going to go. That can also be a, a challenge. I do quite like to put the beds um, up the top here, but you might need a triple layer if you're going to do that. Um, and then you can have a ramp that goes up. That is another option here. Uh, again, totally up to you if you want to do that. Um, there's no right or wrong answer. Uh, you just have to think about how you're going to utilize this storage. Uh, for me, I don't need this wall here anymore. So I can actually remove this whole wall. And the reason for that is because now um, nobody can get in here. Remember, we only had that wall originally so people couldn't get in here, right? But they can't do that now, so it's fine. So I can go ahead and I can remove... I'll take these berries out. I'm going to take away this fire now. I don't want it. I'm also going to take away this bed. Okay, and I'm going to take away this bed. Now, I'm going to have to go over here to drop some stuff off because I'm over encumbered again. So we'll just take anything that's going to be too heavy for us. Uh, also, including everything in here, we can take everything out of here and we can put it into this box as well. So anything that weighs a lot, uh, we can get rid of it. Get rid of this box. Get rid of this foundation. And put a solid foundation in its place. Now, again, making sure you get your orientation wrong, right? If you do get it wrong, you can just simply remove it and then you can just put another one in. Just make sure you rotate it so it goes the right way. Um, at this stage now, I'm going to put in a stone set of stairs. Now, these stone stairs, uh, they're a little bit hard to clip into place sometimes. The way that I tend to like to do this, the way that I tend to like to do this is to put in a stone roof just here first. And that is going to allow you, by doing this, um, to put in these stone stairs and it should clip into place. Now, sometimes it's a bit of a challenge, but I think it clips easier to an upper floor. Like so. This is going to allow me to build out this uh, next level. Uh, I'm going to be using a stone roof here to do this. And because I'm not going to have anything grazing that's going to be too big, I can put this out here and I can actually put the beds down here as well. So pals uh, can come up here to sleep if they need to. And they can use these. These will work. Um, but I'm going to go ahead now and I'm just going to remove all of these beds. Because I'm going to need to pull these up anyway to change the foundations. And now we've got not only the grazing area underneath, but we've also got the bed area above. So I'm going to go ahead, go back to my infrastructure, choosing these straw beds. Now, we can have up to 15 pals at a time on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them here. I'm going to go for one. Uh, then we're going to go for two. Uh, we're going to go for three. And we're going to go for four. And we can get another one in here like so. And then we can just go across and do the same here. And you see these will start to build out, which is great. So that's going to be 4, 8, 12, and then we can go for 3 more, so I can go for 13. That will be eventually 14 here, and then 15. So I just need these guys to move out the way, which they should do in a second. Uh, we need to eat something because we're hungry. Uh, I've got a little bit of food on me. Alright, they'll move in just a sec once they finish this bed. Right, they should move out of the way for us now. There we go, we can put the next one in there. One can go in there, and one can go here. So that is going to be 4, 8, 12, and then we've got 13. This will be 14, and then one more here will be 15. And that's it. That's the maximum amount of beds that we can build. 
And as you see, they can still get upstairs fine. Not a problem. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble uh, this one and this one. As well as this one here. And I can get rid of uh, these two as well. Any square now that has nothing on it, I can simply remove it. And I can replace it with a stone foundation. Now, I don't know why it's not letting us build one there. That's a bit strange. Um, hmm. It could be because of the power box. Which is strange, because it shouldn't be a problem. But for some reason, it's not letting me build here, and I don't know why. It could be because of the stairs. It's possible. So I'm going to remove the stairs just to see. It is the stairs. Okay. So we're going to put that in, and then we'll put the stairs in afterwards. Perfect. Also, we're going to get rid of that. We don't want the... Um... I don't actually know if we're going to be able to build a wall now here. No, very possible with the stairs we can't. So the stairs will have to go in last. Uh, we're going to put the wall in first. And then we'll put these stairs back in. Okay, they can now get down. We can continue with these, um, these walls. And again, at this point, we might decide we're going to put a, uh, a window in instead. And if we want to, we can do that. It's completely up to us how we build this out now. Maybe we want to look outside and see what's going on over there. So now we're starting to think about our layout and how we're going to do things. As you can see, it's um, not too much of a problem now about our place burning down. And even if the uh, the house does burn down, all that's going to happen is the upstairs, uh, the roof and stuff is going to burn down, the um, the walls, but the actual foundations, as long as these are stone, we're, we're pretty solid. Uh, we can acquire some more stone as we need to. We can move some stuff as we need to. Uh, we can also make that cooking pot that we needed to. So now we can make a cooking pot. Uh, we can actually put that down just here. Wherever we put it though, wherever this cooking pot goes, the furnace should really go with it. Because we want to make sure that the cooking pot goes down and the furnace goes down next to it because they're the two things that the fire, whoever's in charge of fire, is going to be dealing with. Um, and so we're going to need to remove this one first. We will get the ingredients back, which means we can go ahead and make the furnace. So if the, fire pot, uh, if the cooking pot goes there, then the furnace should really go down next to it. So we're going to put those there for now. Uh, the workbench, again, take the workbench down. We can choose, put it wherever we want. But wherever we put it, we really want to make sure that it is accessible. So for now, it's going to live just here. Again, there's no right or wrong answer. Oh, maybe not just there. That's not the best place to put it. But not right up against the wall. And again, the reason I'm not going to put it right up against the wall is because sometimes it causes some parving issues. And I just want to be considerate of what we're building. Um, it's definitely still a little bit drunk. Couldn't see because it was getting a bit dark. There we go. That's uh, that's a lot straighter. Okay. And then we're going to remove these foundations. I really don't think you should be sleeping there, to be fair. Um, and, and for that reason, I can just press F, remove <laughs> out of the way, and then I can uh, I can go ahead and place this. All right, so that's most of the core upgraded. Obviously, there's a little bit more that I still need to do, but but overall, pretty solid. Now, removing these is going to be a little bit difficult. You need to clear everything first. Um, moving the spring, that's not too bad. I can do that. Um, and choosing where you want things to go. But as you can see, all of these guys, look, they've gone upstairs. Now, as you will notice, the um, the deer didn't go upstairs. And the reason for that is because the roof is not high enough. So we will need to build an extra level up above the sleeping quarters. So there's two stories for some of the bigger. So you've got small, medium, and large. And then you've got massive pals. Small pals can go on one floor. 
Large, um, medium and large powers need two floors, and then the massive ones need three floors. So just bear that in mind uh, when you're building things out. But overall, this has almost been a two hour mark. We're pretty much done. We just need to wait uh, for the morning now. And uh, I think at this point, you're, you're pretty much ready to just continue on your adventure. You know what you need to do. Uh, you want to continue to level up uh, your base. And so you want to get to level 15. At level 15, you're going to uh, unlock your next... Uh, so level 15 will unlock your next uh, base for your third base. So you want to try and do that as, as quickly as you can to get that location. But the location doesn't really matter anymore. It just needs to be an open, uh, open plot of land. And then the next thing you want to do is continually level up your character. So at the moment, as you can see, up to level 18, we've got the stone structure set. Um, the next thing we're going to get is the breeding farm, which is going to be, allow us to uh, breed. Uh, obviously moving up to gigaspheres, uh, weapon workbench. Then we can get into guns. So we're quite close to guns. Two hours into the game, and we, we, we've been pretty consistent and efficient. Um, but we are... It, it takes about three hours to get to guns. And a musket's not the best gun you can get either. Then we're going to look at stun batons, because we're going to want to obviously get some of those um, to help us capture better. Getting into metal armor is going to be really big for us. Um, and then we're going to get the fluffy power beds. Um, get the makeshift handgun, which I think is really good to get. The power generator, hypersphere, sphere assembly line, production assembly line. Uh, and then once we've got the assembly lines out, the sphere, the production assembly line, and then there is a, a weapon assembly line at level 32. Once we've got those out, that's pretty much everything done. We want the container for the extra storage. This is the one of the bigger storages in the game, so we want this. At this point, we're just improving things. We've got the improved furnace. Then we come down to assembly line two. Um, then we get the circuit boards. Once we've got that, we can start getting rifles, large beds. Um, then we can get refined armor. At that point, we're going to get things like the refrigerator, the double barrel shotgun, uh, the giga glider, uh, the electric kitchen, e electric heater and cooler production assembly line, pump action shotgun, the hyper shield, uh, the legendary sphere, electric furnace with medicine bench, um, and then we're going into metal at that point. So we've got assault rifle, metal armor, and then we should have metal structures, uh, which I can't remember what they are, but metal structures are somewhere. I think I already passed them. Yep, there we go. Level 30 metal structures, which is the top tier in the game. Now, you don't have to go from stone to metal. You can if you want. Um, you don't need to. Um, but I would recommend if you get a chance to, definitely doing that. So, But stone is good enough. Um, you've got everything that you need here. And then it's just a case of building out the base how you want it, building out the automation to make it efficient, breeding, collecting all the pals, and getting yourself ahead. And that's really the best way to get started in multiplayer mode. Again, getting up to this stage, you are now effectively raid proof. No one can burn your house down. Um, as long as your doors are locked, um, nobody's going to be able to get in and out of your base. So you really do want to have everything within your outer walls. It's quite important to have that so that everything's contained. You don't want um, you don't want to have pals that are going outside of this area. Which is why, at this stage, we are going to block in all of that ore into this base. So we're going to have um, a wall, an outer wall, that goes all the way around with a foundation. And that is going to have a ceiling. And then all of that ore is going to be contained within. And then nobody can get in here now. Nobody can get in. We are solid. And at that point, we can automate this entire base. We've got everything that we need. This is, this is a pretty strong uh, place to be. Um, we just can't do everything from one location. We're not going to have enough pals. They're not going to be good enough. Um, so we need to make sure that we're doing our food prep in one location. We need to make sure that we, and that's going to have all of our ranches and, and all of our um, our breeding. So that will be in one location. Uh, all of our automation will be in another location. And our farming will be in our third base location. Um, but for now, as you can see, everyone's awake. Um, everyone's happy. They're all doing their thing. Um, I'm going to leave you there. I will do one more video just where I continue to level up and grow and, and, and play the game. So you can continue this adventure if you want to. Um, but this was the entire purpose. The first video, which was an hour long. This one, which was actually two hours. We did a double session here. Um, I think that you can do what I've done in half the time. I think if you're efficient, you can do it in half the time. But just remember, when you get started, getting this ranch with these Vixies um, really makes a difference to getting these power spheres. 
You don't need more important, uh, powerful power spheres right now. You can easily get to level 18 or level 20 just off of the basics alone. And if we look at the power deck, we've completed Lambles, Catavers, uh, Chickapees. We still have Liftmucks to do. Fox Parks, we still haven't done those. Fwax, we haven't done those. We haven't even collected any Sparkets yet. Tansies, we've still got some more. We haven't even figured out what number 9 is yet. Uh, Pengulit, uh, we're only 3 out of 10. Jolt Hog, we saw we haven't even collected yet. Number 11, we haven't collected. A uh, Gamos, we've still got another 5 to do. Vixies, another 7 to do. Um, Hocrates, still got another 3 to do. We finished Tifants. Depressos, another 3 to do. Kremis, we've got 9 more to do. Daydreams, 3 more to do. Rushors, another 9 to do. Um, and so, without even worrying about anything else, uh, the Nox and the uh, Kilimari, they were in the um, they were in the, uh, the cave. Celerays, we didn't get them either. Dire Howls, we didn't get those yet. Um, and then, obviously, there are other things we've seen. We did see a Bristler. Um, we haven't got anything else. The Deer, another 8 Deer that we can get. Night Wings, another 9 of those we can get. Uh, but we do want to be using a mount from now on. So the other thing that we want to build, it's very, very important at this stage. We need to make sure we get our power gear workbench back out. This means we will need a little bit more cloth. So we can make some more cloth now. We've got a lot of wool. So we can go ahead and turn that wool into cloth. In doing so, we can get down our power gear workbench again that we're going to need. And in building this... This is probably one of the most important things to do at this stage, and you want to be here once you've upgraded your base, is having a Nightwing. Because now by having this... Oh, I need to um, I need to put the food box down. I think it's quite important that I put that feed box down. So we're going to put that just here. So everyone can come and eat out of it. And we just chuck some food in here quickly so that no one's starving. Okay, so now that we have this, we really want to be able to build this Nightwing saddle. Now, we need leather for this, cloth, we need ingots, and we need fragments. It's going to cost quite a lot to get this, but it's going to be absolutely massive for our um, traversing the land. So, I recommend this should be your next point of focus before you do anything else. And then you use that to be able to travel, and from now on, that's how you travel. So, again, leather, cloth, ingots, fiber, and fragments. All of that stuff you're going to have to work towards. Uh, we need to go out and get some more ore. We know how to collect that. Uh, we've got our food pots here, so we can make some better food if we want to now as well. We've got our cooler box, so any food that we've got can go into our cooler box. The cooler box can go next to... So we can move this if we want to, put it next to the, um, the cooking pot. And then we can finish off upgrading our base. So simply taking out the stuff from here. Now this weighs a lot. So this box is going to be hard to move. Um, but yeah, definitely moving these guys out of the way. And uh, and yeah. And then we're, we're pretty much good to go. Our base is done. Everything's been upgraded. And uh, yeah, I get to that stage. Again, we'll do one more video uh, a little bit later. Talking about the next steps. And that will be the series wrapped up. Thanks for joining us. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.